dumb, cool, weird podcast. So we just watched a movie called Chopping Mall. Oh my god, it's Chopping Mall. It was like Terminator and <laughs> RoboCup had sex with Polly's robot in Rocky Four. Yeah, it's also a little bit of uh, Dawn of the Dead because they're in a fucking mall. Oh, yeah, man. They were just uh, grasping for everything. At the end there, they did a little Terminator. I feel like it's one of those situations where, uh, you know, back in the 80s, a mom went to go get the movie Short Circuit for her kid, but then she actually picks up that movie, and then her kids are like, Mom, why is Short Circuit so violent? What, what are you talking about? It's a peaceful movie about a robot. What do you? No, Mom, I just watched this lady's head explode after showing her titties and everybody having an orgy at the mall. <laughs> what um, movie did we watch? <laughs> uh, I don't... No, 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 I'm just kidding. No, it would be like, what movie did you kids watch? It's like, it's like, Mom, you got to stop drinking and using quaaludes at the same time. Every time. Every time. Yeah, it was, um, it was definitely interesting. Uh, Nick picked it out. We were literally scrolling through Tubi, and he was like... I want that one. Dude, I've seen like a trailer for Chopping Mall, and I'm like, this is so fucking cheesy. It's great. But I love how it's not like horror comedy. It was just horror sci-fi was was what it was, and it was funny as hell. Yeah, it's one of those movies <laughs> where like you don't really recognize any of the actors, and there was only one actor that oh was God, like... What was his name? I'm going to have to look up his name real quick. Well, it's like the, the he, he, like there was only one guy that had that was talented, and he was uh, he was in Gremlins. It was yeah, the yeah. old guy from I just Gremlins. Wanna, I just want to make sure you know we get his name, just so that uh, just just so that we could get we could do it some justice here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Uh, none of these things are popping up. Ah, Dick Miller. Dick Miller. Yep. That no, that's a. That, I love though that they killed him off mm-hmm. immediately. The mm-hmm. most talented guy that they could have used the whole fucking movie. Couldn't, They're like they couldn't afford him, dude. Obviously, dude. But it would have been great. Like, imagine Dick Miller going through that whole movie, looking at these kids, and they'd be like, ah, oh, you kids, you just never killed robots like I did back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been pretty funny. You know, if that guy had, like, a story, his if they made a movie where he was playing, like, an old guy who survived, like, multiple, like, horror movie situations, mm-hmm. he'd be like, yeah, well, you know, back in my day, I fought a bunch of gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> they attacked me twice, once in Japan and once in a small town. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely funny, man. It cracks me up. Yeah, the uh, what's what's interesting um about this movie though, is like it's your typical like horror movie. And you could tell they didn't really have a oh, yeah. crazy budget for it. But in the beginning of the movie, it kind of pisses you off because like this guy's giving a presentation about the oh yeah the the robots, and you think it's like the beginning of the movie, but then it turns out it's just a presentation. But what's crazy is they set these two people up in the front row as like the, the characters of the movie. And then you never see them again. Yeah. Like these two restaurant owners that are just like, so super snooty, you know, they're like, Oh, let's get it. Went for the, let's get one for the restaurant to take out all the people we don't like. And you're like, okay, these people are going to probably be like working late and get like zapped real hard. And it never happens. No come up. And we were actually kind of, we kind of weren't too happy about that because we wanted to see them come up, come, but it never, never did because no, we didn't see them again. And and pretty much the rest of the movie is pretty standard formula. Like I could mm-hmm. I could run you through the whole movie, but basically it's like this: basically teens decide to get drunk and throw a, like throw, a nice nineteen eighties yeah. party, get laid. Yep, they throw it in the mall because you know the, the the three young boys they have like. They're, you know, they have like a, you know, they, they work at a store, yeah, like, four, f- like a furniture store. Four dudes. Yeah, it was four dudes. One of them's married, banging his wife at the, in the furniture store. Yep. And then the other three, they, you know, they all work at the store. You have the nerdy guy. You have the douchey nerdy guy. Virgin. Yeah. And then you have like the, the guy that's the middle, like the guy that's in the middle. And he's kind of like a little bit of both, you know. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. He's kind of not a dick. He's kind of like really a romantic. Of, by a lot, of, a lot of teeth in this movie. A lot of chins. A lot of gum. Yeah, a lot of gum too. Dude, even the women had mad chins in this movie. Yeah, they were they were chewing a lot of gum. There was a lot of gum chewing going on. You know what this means though, right? What's that? We need to go get some jaws or size. Because yeah. we need to be on their level of fucking chin. Yep, well that's why they were chewing the gum because they're trying to get those chins in shape. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna start like chewing copious amounts of gum to see if it does anything for me. No, yeah, you should. But this uh but but basically the movie is pretty standard formula. Basically, Set up the, the the robots down in the basement. You know the guys that like the scientists are down in the basement. Lightning strikes the fucking building. 
breaks the br- it breaks the mainframe for some reason the robots mm. are like we're sneaky murder machines now that break all the rules that were set up in our programming yeah. and basically they murder the two scientists that like are running the machines and then basically the the, the whole place gets shut the, down where did the bodies go where did the body go from the first guy I don't know. You That's know, never explained. Well, you know, it's like when, it's like when they when they shoot one of them, yeah, one of the robots, and they kill. Like, what's that? It's robot blood. Uh, you know, and, and that, this is the best part of the movie. I like how that all the chicks were like trying to get out, and one of them's freaking out about getting out, and the guys are like, "We know what we must do," even though we're afraid. Just breaks into the mall gun store. You yeah, know, gets all the guns, gets a propane tank. Yeah, and uh, that's basically. Pre Reagan yeah. bands, you know. So, so they have machine. Ma- they, have a, they have a machine gun. They have a shotgun, and he's got a forty-five. You know. Yeah, it was it was an M sixteen. You know, mm-hmm. back when you can actually get those before Ronald Reagan ruined all the fun. Yeah, pretty much. And basically, what ended up happening though is they just went to battle with these robots, and you know, the janitor dies. Janitor got killed, but never explained like what happened to the other two janitors. Yeah, they just kind of disappeared. Nor, and then, like, how did the janitors live? Yeah, pretty like much. Like that long in the movie. You know what this movie is, dude? It's basically Jason, but with the robots. The robots from 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 the the fourth uh, from the fourth was it a uh, Rocky movie? But you know what's weird about the movie too is that they it said oh the robots can't go into like stores. It's against their programming and everything. They only worry about like the main mall. So it's like, why is it that you know the robot in the movie passes by them? Just doesn't do anything. It doesn't register that there's humans in there. And then all of a sudden it sees a janitor. It's like, oh, yeah, that's right. We're supposed to be killing people. Yeah, it's like it forgot. Because later on in the movie, by the way, they just straight up ram through the glass and don't even care about that that rule anymore. What, what I love, though, is how they, like, in the beginning of the movie when they're when they're showing off the presentation, they're, like, they're talking about how it's these robots are equipped with, like, non-lethals. And somehow they have fucking plastic explosive on them. Yep, but that's not even the best part. The best part is they have futuristic weapons. They have lasers. Yeah, lasers. And not, and not just any lasers. Like, every single one of them are color-coordinated lasers. Like yeah, so one you know ha- which one's going to kill you. Yeah, so you have the red one, the blue one, and the green one. I shit you not. Green and blue and red lasers coming out. But you know what's the craziest part about this, though, is like is how, they, how like high-tech these things were for just, like, basic security robots that are supposed to stop, like, your run-of-the-mill mugger in L.A.? Yeah, but, and it's, it's like, but instead it's got like Skynet like level technology. Why are you selling this shit to a mall? Go sell it to the government. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was thinking too. And then like, what's even crazier is like basically like when the when the machines are running, they sound like engines revving up on, a, on like a like a truck or something. But you know what's funny is that they sneak up on people. Oh, yeah. you stuck up on me, ha! <laughs> you little bastard. It's like, how you didn't hear it? didn't hear it they didn't they didn't fucking hear it 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 has tank treads running on hardwood floor yeah made no fucking sense and you know and just just to add to it they had to go into every different department store and even including the pet shop you know know, to kind of showcase what the mall had you know you know it was great though i do miss when malls had actual like had like gun stores in them you know like you'd go to the sporting store and you'd be like you know what i want my ar-15 my pistol and my shotgun before Moms Demand Action ruined all the fun, and Ronald Reagan, and you then then you're like, you know what? I bought all my guns. Let me go get a puppy and a snake. Yeah, I got them down the down the way, and then you got the, the local paint store. You know, yeah, you know, like I got to do some house painting. I got to do some automotive work. Yeah, I mean, they pretty much had everything. Maybe that's why America's fallen. Is our is our malls no longer have guns, paint, and pets? Pretty much. But that's basically what happens. Basically, they try to get out, and they use the plastic explosive to open up the doors. The girls go through the air vent. The guys run to the gun store. The girls evacuate the air vent. They find gasoline in a store, and then they start making Molotov cocktail concoctions. And then the guys think they fuck up one of the robots, and then they run away. They just never try to off it. it, Like, double tap it while it's down. Yeah, and then it comes back to life. It lifts itself (laughs) up, and then... Basically, what ends up happening, you know, let's just run through it. Basically, they just start dropping like flies. Everyone oh, yeah. just start dropping, and then you finally get to the nerdy guy mm-hmm. and the weird looking, the slightly awk- yeah, the slightly arc- awkward girl. And basically, you get down to the last robot. And by the way, the robots use the escalators, which is fucking ridiculous to me. Yeah, how do they? It, it doesn't make any sense because like their tread doesn't look like it fits up on any of that. Yeah, like they'd have to be using. The elevator strictly for going above and below levels. Yeah. Like, and the weirdest part about it is, like, 
it also broke the whole like they just constantly kept breaking their own rules and i was like why mm. you know it would have been funny if they got into a store and they're like they can't come in here and then the robots are still like shooting at them but from outside the store yeah and, and and then basically they end up stopping one of the robots by trapping him in an elevator then the other one they just fucking blew him to fuck they, they just, blew they, the they two, started two electric of them blow up yeah two of them blow up the first one that actually, blows up was like being electrocuted and he like no, ele- the first one was actually in the elevator yeah and, and then the second one was got it was getting electrocuted i remember that and then he drove that little thing in that little like card into him and then he died and then it, and then it, <laughs> it blew up it was the up. weakest death it ever the weakest death ever you know his you know what it's it, the and this was the thing the inconsistency of the lasers killing and or just hurting people like at first when they're shooting them with the lasers like the first chick's getting like zapped in the back and she's like oh fuck this kind of hurts but it's kind of inconvenient yeah it's like ow i I mean, I'm scared. And then, like, for some reason, the laser goes up to, like, 100 and blows her fucking head off. Yep. And then you have the one chick who gets, like, the little laser blast in the gut. And, and it she fucking dies. kills her immediately. Yeah. Makes no fucking sense. And the guy gets electrocuted and dies. And then basically what ends up happening, though, is that they have the final showdown with the other robot. And the nerdy guy gets knocked out. We think he's dead. And then yeah. she... And then she and then the, 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 the frumpy girl was kind of trying to, like, battle him, and then she fell off the fucking balcony, and the the, the fucking um, tent broke her fall. <laughs> the and tent then, with all the luggage? Yeah, with all the luggage. And she goes to the paint store and makes a concoction on the floor, and then the robot gets in the concoction of paint, and he's like, oh, no, I can't fucking go. And then she had her Sarah Connor moment. Yeah, she had a Sarah Connor moment where she took out her... Um, her uh, uh, flare, road flare, and then she threw it at him and goes, "Have a nice day," which because, is what, because that's what the robots were saying every yeah, time they kill somebody. I like, I like whatever. I love whenever, like you know, in Terminator, she's like, "You're terminated, motherfucker!" Yeah. Kills him. She's like, "Have a nice day." Just tosses a road yeah. Flare and by there. the way, it blows up the entire fucking store, which dude, makes no fucking dude, it sense. It was the it, the paint was more flammable and destructive back then. You know what I'm more concerned about is the fact, like, if she was the only survivor, yeah. you know, how would she explain any of this to anybody? Like, those malls didn't have security cameras. They were using fucking robots to kill people. Pretty much. And basically, after she wins, she falls on the ground, and she has, like, a sexy moment where her ass is up in the air, and she's looking back, and she's going, like... She sees the nerdy guy. Oh. And then she walks away, and the nerdy guy comes back with a roll of toilet paper on his yeah. head. <laughs> And goes, you know nice, sh- nice shot. You know what? You have to give credit to him. Like he was like, he was definitely like, you know, I, no one's gonna need this. <laughs> yep. And then the movie just ends. ends. That's it. It's gone. That's it. I mean, that's really it. I mean, it is basically like your movie of the week that you probably would have watched back in the eighties. You, you should watch it at least three times. At least three times. You know, once sober, then once drunk, and then once on like DMT. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, that's that's a good idea to that's that's a good way to do that. It's it's just one of those damn movies, man. Like it's a movie of the week. You should definitely check it out if you're if you're bored one night. Definitely check it out if you're a huge fan of like Terminator and Dawn of the Dead Dawn and the, a teen coming of age movie. Yeah, and then you know like teens were all like thirty. You know, short Circuit, but on steroids. You know that's yeah, Short Circuit, but the robots meant to kill people. Yeah, it's um. It's definitely a, the movie for you, and yeah. I, I would recommend checking it out because it's fucking ridiculous. You know what? Yeah, having a shit week, just put it in. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that's that was Chopping Mall. It's a chopping good time, you know. Yeah. If you want to see some '80s cheese, because the '80s is like cheese has been ramped up to the max. You know, There's a lot of a lot of '80s stereotypes in this movie. You'll Jesus. definitely enjoy it. You know what? Though <laughs> I have to say, compared to having to watch King Kung Fu. This is a great comeback for us mentally. Yes, this was a good one, and King if you, Kung Fu was rough. Yes, it was. So, so this we'll, was a good. Yeah, transition. and we're and we're probably gonna we're probably gonna start watching a lot more eighties movies because eighties movies are pretty fun. And yeah. don't worry, we're gonna go back to the ape films. It's just we needed a break. All yeah. right, you don't understand. Yeah, you don't get it. So yeah, check out our website, check out our merch. Uh, you know, this is going to be a regular show every week, every Monday. You know, yeah. movie Mondays. We're going to try to do one every week, and <clears throat> this is going to be our new format. Um, you know, you're looking at about fifteen to twenty minute episodes. That way, we're not fucking killing y'all with a long ass episode. And yeah, <laughs> you can easily digest it. So <laughs> we'll do a quick run through and tell you how we feel about it. And uh, yeah, I would give this movie like definitely watch it. Definitely watch it. Ten out so, of ten recommend. Yeah, ten out of ten recommend. Definitely watch it. We're gonna 
we're going to give you two scores. Either going to be definitely fucking watch it or stay the fuck away. <laughs> yeah. Those will be our two things we'll say. Yeah, so definitely no, fucking watch this definitely one. Definitely fucking watch this one. So, King Kung Fu, stay definitely, the fuck away from it. Definitely stay the fuck away from that shit. No good for you. No. And stay sexy, Georgia. Thanks for checking out the Dumb Cool Weird podcast. We're a movie podcast now, so Movie Monday is every Monday about crappy movies from the 20th century. It's going to be great, folks. I can't wait to show y'all.